Hi YouTube! Today's tutorial is going to be um, a DIY on how to make realistic vampire things. Um, I did buy some from Spirit Halloween for $5 and they are just so big and so bulky and the color was completely off because my teeth are not white. Let's face it. So this is what it looks like. I don't have one on this side, but the Jewel of the Nile is these nail I don't think these are tips. I think these are the actual like full nails, but they are by Kiss. I don't think you can see. Thing. I got these this whole set from Walmart for $5.97, I believe. I know it was under $6. Denture cream. I have poly grip, and this is the, uh, like, I, guess, I don't want to say it's the clear one, but it's the one that's like... The tooth color and some scissors to cut it so if you are interested in seeing how I did this stay tuned and keep watching I'm going to start by sizing out which nail that I think is going to suit me and I already know that it's going to be like this pinky size so what you do if you take it Place it over the tooth to make sure that that is the size that you need. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut the size that you want. What I did was I angled it, gave it a bit more of an angle in the front so that when you see it head on it looks more jagged like this. So that's what I'm going to do. So on the left side of the nail if you're facing it. So this side of the nail is the one that you want angled more. So you're going to start from the bottom. Well, no. You're going to start about halfway through the nail and then angle it right to the center. And it's going to look like this. And then you're going to flip it over and do the same on the other side, but don't give it quite the angle. And you want to curve it just a little bit. So you end up with something like this. Sorry, the lighting is horrible in here. And I don't want them so sharp that it's going to cut my tongue or my gums or lip when I'm talking. So I am going to just trim it down a little bit at the ends to where it's not, you know, quite as jagged. Okay, I want to clip it just a little bit more on the length it's a little bit more than what I want and it should end up looking like this yep right about where I want it okay I dry my tooth a little bit with a piece of napkin you're going to take about that much product and put it on the tip of it and I'm gonna take nah, my finger dude. and can't anybody else fucking do anything He's my husband. He's playing Call of Duty. I'm going to just smear it you on it. Suck. And now I'm going to place it onto my tooth. There. You'll need to hold it here for about a minute. What I do is I take it off about, you know, 30 second in, and I take it off and I push the product up a little bit more because it will distribute through the tooth, without a doubt, but do that and put it back on. And I find that it holds better this way. And here is the final look. Uh, the polygrip was, I don't know, I find it hard to work with, but I'm not used to using it. So if you guys know any tips or know of anybody that uses this stuff, um, it says it's super strong all day hold. When I wore, when I made them last night, they held, I wore them for like two hours, but they were the smaller things. Um, these are a bit longer than the ones that I had made. 
but it's so easy to talk in these and I don't sound like I have a complete list. I don't think I do at least. So yeah. I like them. I think they're really cool. With the denture grip, poly grip, whatever, they're for dentures, let's face it. Um, it, it wiggles and it feels like it's going to fall out, but if all you're doing is just wearing them for cosmetic purposes for your ha Halloween costume, I think these are perfect. I do not suggest eating or drinking. Well, I guess you could drink if you're using a straw. Do not bite anybody. Don't use them on kids because could, they could swallow it and get hurt. So, adults only, and I would only recommend them for two to three hours tops. But they are reusable and it's a much cheaper alternative and you can customize them any way that you want. Um, you could put them here like the True Blood fangs, which I love True Blood, don't get me wrong. I don't think that fangs should be right there. I like them right here in your incisors, so yeah, that's it. Or you can do like the interview with a vampire style and put the longer ones here and the shorter ones here. Use it for a snake costume, a cat. A tiger, lion, any kind of animal. I love them. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I will be doing a vampire tutorial within the next few days using these things. Yes, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe below.